Hello, this is Dr. Lori. Welcome back for this video on how to do the Man Whitney um, nonparametric test in SPSS. So, in a previous video, we've already entered all of the data that we need for this particular test. We have a scale variable um, that's measured miles per gallon, um, and we're going to compare um, two different makes of cars to see if they have the same average miles per gallon. In order to conduct the Man Whitney test, we will go to Analyze, Nonparametric Tests, and then also again to the Legacy Dialogues and choose um, Two Independent Samples. And you'll notice that this um, dialog box looks very similar to what you saw with the independent samples t-test. The test variable is our continuous variable, so miles per gallon. The grouping variable is what make of car we have, and we need to define those groups similar to the way we did that before. So group 1 is coded as a 1, group 2 is coded as a 2, and you'll notice down here at the bottom the default is to conduct a Mann-Whitney test. So once we have all of that entered in, we can click OK, and our output will show up here. So here we have our Mann-Whitney U-test, um, the actual value. And so here's our two-tailed significance, 0 0.015, that goes along with that value. And Remember how I said a lot of times these nonparametric tests take the same data and convert them into ranks instead of using the actual miles per gallon, we just simply put them all in rank order. So the mean rank for the solar bird is lower than the mean rank for the ecohawk, so it makes sense then um, that the ecohawk's miles per gallon was better. So that concludes this um, review of how to conduct a Man Whitney in SPSS. Thank you for joining me.